Hi there, I'm Beth and today I'm going to be unboxing more of these Rainbow High blind box handbags. I've decided to do a bit of a buy or DIY themed video today as I've enjoyed watching a few recently and I was really lucky to get seven of these given to me on my recent birthday. So I'm going to speed through the opening of these, have a look at what I get and I will choose one or two to either fix up or do my own version of. We shall see. I'm going to put them in order of how I'm going to open them. There is one handbag that I would really love to get so if I don't get it perhaps I will make my own version of that one um, but I think that one would be in either of these two boxes. So I'm going to save those kind of for the end. I love the rainbow ones as well so I will save that for the end but I'm going to open them in this order and see if I get lucky. <laughs> so let's speed over to the unboxing. Let's see. I've taken all the outside wrappers off so I can just get straight into these boxes. I'll tell you the ones that I'm most hoping to get. I really want this one with the sun and moon. That's a Sunny Madison bag. And looking again, I actually really want this one as well. So let's see if I get lucky. Ooh. Oh, that's a really nice bag. Does it open? Oh, it does. It's got sort of a plastic frame to it. Oh, okay. So it's like a plastic body to the bag. You can see where the handles attach. And then we have a nice little fastener. I see it pops into a little hole there and it's got a, a fabric flap to it. So that's a nice one. Whose bag is that? That bag belongs to Crystal Bailey and it is a stylish or elegant rating. Very nice. Lovely colour. Now for this one. Ooh! Oh, I like this one too. Clear iridescent plastic. Oh, I love these tiny details. The little clear sort of luggage tag. Oh, that's really nice. Little fabric straps with double rows of stitching. That's brilliant. Opens with Velcro and has elastic holding the gather kind of tight. It's got plastic holding the shape which I'll leave in place and you can open the second flap as well and I think get in there. That's gorgeous. Really nice. And that bag belongs to Gabriella Isley and that's also a stylish or elegant rated bag. Happy with that. Okay, we have the pink one next. Ooh. Okay, we've got a very cute pale pink bag, clutch style. Again, it's got the solid body with the fabric flap, Velcro fastening, covered in dollar bills, and it's got a sort of faux ribbon chain strap. That's lovely. Yeah, really nice. A nice substantial bag. That bag belongs to Bella Parker and is an ultra rare. Now for the Shadow High box. Now I do have one of these already, which was the backpack style, but this feels different, so hopefully no doubles. Ooh, excellent. I was hoping to get this one actually. <laughs> I didn't want a double. Oh, wow. It's like a padlock. It's got phases of the moon on the back. That's really cool. Anti-sparkle. Does it open? It does. Okay. Not really got any room to put anything, but the front does open. I don't know if you can see. It's moulded plastic inside. Oh, that's cool. And it's got, oh yeah, it's got like a carabiner sort of style opening part to the side. So you can slip it over something like a real padlock. Oh, I really like that. That's really unusual. And that bag is just labelled as Shadow High and is also an ultra rare. How lucky! Next up is this uh, peachy orange box. I love that I will have a collection of all these little dust bags when we're finished. Okay, let's see this one. Ooh, well, that's a nice one. A bit like one of these 
60s or 70s sort of jelly handbags. So it's like molded. Oh, it is squishy. And yep, you can open it a little to get things in. That's really unusual. Very nice. Lovely orange colour with kind of looks like a kind of dry brushed effect on top of it. And that bag belongs to Poppy Rowan and is also an ultra rare. Lovely. Now for the rainbow coloured box. Now I did get one of these before as well and it was the this is not a designer bag. White dust bag for this one. Okay. Mm. Feels familiar. This might be a double. <laughs> yes, it is. It is a double, but it's a lovely bag, so I'm not upset. The handles are a little, a little curved. Actually, is this a double or was my last one the colourful one? I will have to go back and check because I've put it away in my storage box. But this might actually be the one that I got last time. And now I've got the desaturated Shadow High style version of this bag. The one that I've got is an Amaya Rain bag and it is classed as rare. Awesome design of bag with dollar signs all over. It's got a little dollar sort of hanging keyring type thing and has a lovely rainbow stripe down the middle and the back. And it says, this is not a designer bag. Love it. All right, time for the last one. Fingers crossed. Yellow dust bag. All right. Mm, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, well, again, I am pleasantly surprised. It's not the one that I was really hoping to get, but it is the other one that was next to it on the sheet. Oh, I, re I really like it. I'm actually really glad I got this. That's brilliant. Oh, they're like partners as well. They're very similar. Oh, you could definitely do the uh, Wednesday and her uh, and her roommate collab type thing with these two. This is very Wednesday and her roommate. Oh, it's really cute. I love all the little designs on it. It's sort of covered in emojis and rainbow scribbly designs. It's got a cute little cloud with a face on it and the rainbow high patterning on the back. Oh, that's cool. All right. I rotate these. Yes, the handles are a little a little bent over, but I did take the heat gun to the, the first one that I unboxed and managed to sort of reposition the handles nicely. So I will probably do that again or dip them into hot water, perhaps. Oh, very happy with that, though. So that bag belongs to Sunny Madison and is a stylish or elegant rating as well. All right, those are all my handbags. I'm really pleased with all that I got. What a lovely range of colours as well. Such good choices. So I think what I'm going to do is perhaps make my own version of this bag that I didn't get, the Sunny Madison Sun and Moon bag. I reckon I'll give that a try and see if I can make my own version of it. Yes. All right. That's the plan. Watch until the end to see me making it. I went online and found some reference photos of the bag so I could see more detail and work out its construction. I already had some small sample pieces of pale yellow and white vinyl, which would work nicely. I also rummaged out some gold coloured chain links and findings for the hardware of the strap. I have a white zip that I'll cut to size and started cutting out the rough shapes I'll need from the vinyl. I'll hand sew everything and we'll start with the zipper. Now it's got vinyl on each side, I'll add a section to make up the outer edge of the bag. I'll enclose ribbon loops with chain links for the strap to attach to. Looking good so far, I want to include the piping I can see in the original, at least on the front side. I glue a length of cord into vinyl to simulate piping cord. I will layer this between the white circle front and the sides.
It was pretty tough hand stitching through so many layers, but I had to be accurate to get the piping to look nice. I turn it right side out and I'm really happy with the front so far. Next, I will insert the other ribbon loop and close up the other side of the bag. Once sewn, there's just one circle shape missing. With the zip open, I can sew it inside out, then flip it right side out through the opening. It was tricky again to sew and definitely needs stuffing to get the seam allowances to sit nicely on the inside, but the body is constructed. Next, I'll attach the buckle and loops to this ribbon strap and slide it onto the bag. I've tried to match the original buckles and clips as closely as I can, and even swapped the zipper pull for a gold one. I did stuff the bag so it looks better and so I can add the front design too. Here's the artwork on the collector's guide, slightly different to the real bag pictured here, so I'll use these references for my one. Now, I don't have an embroidery sewing machine yet, but I do have textile medium and lots of paint. I can use these to create fabric paint and painstakingly recreate the sun and moon design myself. I sketch out the design in pencil first. Then I can mix up some paint. I built up the design, layer by layer, adding as much detail as I could, before finishing it off with some very delicate outline details. And with that, my DIY version of Sunny Madison's bag is completed. What do you think of it? Here it is compared to the reference pictures. I think it's a pretty good replica, don't you? Granted, the materials and colouring isn't quite the same. I'm happy with the overall feel of it and the painting on the front. So, what's the verdict? Would I have been better off buying more blind boxes to see if I got lucky? Or was I right to DIY instead? Buy or DIY? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this little video and I'll see you again soon. Bye.